This is a 15.6 inch laptop. It is one and a quarter inches thick. It's got brushed aluminum. It weighs in at 6.2 pounds. It's got two exhaust ports for the GPU, one for the CPU. Both the GPU and the CPU both managed to stay at around 80 degrees Celsius or just a little bit under, under heavy gaming load for hours on end. And it's just a great looking laptop. It's built very, very well. You can open it up with one finger. It's got a very nice trackpad, the fingerprint reader. We actually have buttons here. And RGB lighting, not individual keys, mind you. They are just in zones. But I really like this thing as I find it to be very well built. find to be an excellent performing machine. This one is uh, featuring the GTX 1060, the 7700HQ. The storage capabilities in here, it'll hold two M.2s. It'll also hold two 2.5 inch drives. This one came spec'd with a 128 gigabyte Samsung NVMe drive. The ports, as you can see here, let me see if I can get a good shot. So you're, there we go. You know, card readers, Ethernet, your lock, USB, all that good stuff on the back. You've got your exhaust port for your GPU, your power adapter, another USB. And on the side, HDMI, USB, all that good stuff. The power brick that it comes with is not your standard 180 watt unit, but it's a 200 watt unit. If you can see that very well, but there's, it says 200 watts right there. It's, you know, of normal size, about one-sixth the size of the laptop, and it does not get piping hot either. I would have no problem having my five-year-old daughter hold on to the power brick as I'm gaming for hours on end. In other words, it's not going to burn my child. It's safe. It's, it's not even hot. It's warm at best. So, nice job there. These Clevo based chassis, in this case, this one was made by Electronics. Uh, these could be purchased not only in a few places in the US, but all over the, the globe. Um, Electronics and Sager are the two main manufacturers in the United States, and these could be purchased, the Sager models at Exotic PC. Uh, what else? Amazon, Newegg, the electronics model. Uh, this one here was purchased at uh, Newegg, and these can also be found at Amazon as well. This particular one, again, with the 7700HQ and the GTX 1060. This one had 8 gigs of DDR4 Crucial Ballistics RAM. 2400 megahertz and the 128 gigabyte NVMe, NVMe drive and 120 hertz G Sync display. And that type of kit is the Pro X model. If it says Pro X, it has the 120 hertz panel. And these will run anywhere from $1,250 to $1,400. I know that sounds like a lot, but if you were to price out an actual desktop solution, including an NVIDIA G-Sync display, you're probably going to end up spending more than this. This is just a 1080p panel, but at 15.6 inches, this is all you're going to need. 
the pixel density here is fantastic. And as you can hear, silent. Granted, it's, it's unplugged, so the, uh, the frequency is going to be running a little bit low here. But I gamed on this quite a bit this morning. Maximum temperature of the CPU was 74 degrees. And the GPU was 79. In fact, I've never seen a GPU get any higher than that. And it's everything's idling around 40 degrees Celsius. The CPU's idling around 37 degrees Celsius. And overall, this is just a great build quality that doesn't look embarrassing. And that's been one of my biggest complaints with a lot of these other gaming laptops is that they don't have a multi-purpose. I, I almost feel like if I'm going to have one of these gaming laptops that I also need to have my business-oriented laptop as well. And if you're going to have a gaming laptop and a business-oriented laptop, why not just not have the gaming laptop and have a desktop instead? I'm sure there's a few niche solutions out there where somebody could argue and say, well, no, I need both because of this and this, and that's fine. But generally speaking, a gaming laptop is meant to serve, you know, multiple purposes, to have that portability, uh, to be able to game on it, of course, and uh, take it to work with you as well. So, the jack of all trades, if you will. So that's it. I just wanted you guys to see this. It's uh, one and a quarter inches thick. It's actually 6.2 pounds. I have my scale here, and I did weigh this out before I started the video. So 6.2 pounds. The brick itself, if you want to know how much that weighs, let's check it out. I'll pull my scale up here. Two point two pounds there, and as I said, six point two pounds for the laptop itself. So that's it, my friends. I highly recommend this laptop. I've been down the road of several different solutions so far, and this one's a keeper. There really is not anything I do not like about it. For further information on how it performs, for further information on uh, changing the thermal pace and what kind of thermal results you get from doing so, and just completely dismantling this unit, feel free to have a look through my channel. I have several videos on this particular unit showcasing all of these things. So stay tuned for further information. And that's all I have today. You folks have a wonderful day.